we already described line number one of the algorithm. Now we are going to describe line number two, three, and four. So it is as simple as using the if statement if f a times f c less than zero b equals to c. Then line number three else if f a times f c greater than zero a equals to c. And finally, else, that corresponds to line number four. Else, if neither second nor the third condition satisfied, um, we break the loop and end. So this end corresponds to this if statement. And... We can remove the empty space down here. Okay. All right. And then we can end our while loop. And this end corresponds to this while. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, now we have done with the... Uh, bisection algorithm program to solve uh, the roots for this equation. Okay, let's check with our common window. So if I run this program, so as can be seen here in the workspace, I get the final value for A, B and C is like this. A equals to 3.5005. B is this, 3.5036. And C equals to 3.5021. So C is in fact the solution of the of the function fx. So if you want to test, you can write F C and hit enter. So F C is very close to zero in, in which the value is seven point something times ten power negative five. Okay, by the way, we uh, always wish to create uh, some like table looking results that show the list of values of the iterations from the initial uh, initial guess until the final value or the points where this y loop breaks so to, to fulfill that uh, we have to write the f print f a statement inside this loop so after this line we can write f print f so the quantities that we want to display is of course first i the sec second a and then b and then c and then f a f b f c meaning that we have uh, seven quantities that we wish to display so we have to describe the format for first for i so i is the um integer or natural number so the format that's suitable for i is d that stands for uh decimal i guess so give two um uh, uh, two digits for i and then we want to specify a let use um, maybe 10, 10 digits. So A is the floating point. So I want to use the same format for B and then C and also F, A, F, B and F, C. So this is for I, this is for A, B, C, F, A, F, B, and F, C. And then backslash N for enter to the next line. Now, I list all the quantities that I want to display. I followed by A, followed by B, and C, and then F, A, 
and then FB, and then FC. Okay, so let's rerun the program and see what do we get in the command window. As can be seen here, these are the results that we obtain. So the first column, the leftmost column, corresponds to I, and then this is A, B, C, F, A, F, B, F, C. Maybe we can put some header to uh, describe each, co each column. So for doing that, you can copy this and then um, put it somewhere, maybe uh, here. Um, adjust it a little bit. And then if you want to put the header, you have to write the string uh, for this symbol. And then we, we have to change this to string instead of the quantity. Put the inverted commas between them. And also don't forget to change the format. So this no longer numbers, they are strings. So put S. And all of them are string. Okay, let's rerun this algorithm and the header appear. Um, if you want to get more uh, nicely, you can put some bracket here, you know, and also maybe subscript I, but that is just optional. Um, okay, let's inspect the results. As I mentioned just now, C is the results in which the value of the function FC is this which is very close to zero if you want to get um, uh, you know the the roots that almost zero you can change the stopping criteria so instead of using 0 0.0001 maybe you can make it smaller maybe 0 0.05 so rerun so now the uh, iterations uh, increase but you see, when C is 3.5022, the value of function is 0 with some negative because there is some small quantity. If you want to check the detail, you can write FC and hit enter. So this is the value when F, uh, when C is substituted into the function F. Okay, so uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.